Hey YouTube, how you doing? It's Ian here from Ian here and there. Now then, carrying on with our um, top 40. Let's get straight into it, no fucking about. Now then. Oh, it's actually moving. Um, there we are. Number 36. Now then, you're going to say to me now, why are you keeping this at, at such a high number on the rankings? What it is, it's not the locomotive. I think it's a gorgeous looking locomotive. It's the, uh, as you know, the Class 33. It's not the locomotive, because I tell you now, when this runs, it pulls a hell of a lot. It's one of the most strongest locos that I've got in the fleet. It really is. Now then, let me tell you why it's where it is. It's because, unless the track is absolutely clean as brand new and the wheels are as clean as brand new this engine doesn't like it it plays up terrible let me give you a quick demonstration so you know what i'm on about see that it stopped already and it hasn't moved more than about a foot now then if i give it a push So, keep stopping and starting. Now then, unless these wheels on this engine are absolutely sparkling and the track has got, you know, reflections of yourself coming off it, it does not like it. That's the only reason it's in the position it's in. Um, other than that, it's a perfect locomotive. It pulls a hell of a lot of weight. It's it's my dream locomotive really, but it's, it's, it has its off days. Um, I can pull 15 carriages with this engine, no sweat. It doesn't break a sweat at 15 carriages. Now most of you are going to call me a liar with that, but it does, it, it really pulls, pulls the weight. It's quite an heavy locomotive though, that one is. And um, as you know, with the... Um, Class 33, they did them with a ring field motor. And on the ring field motors, you've got traction tyres. Well, this one, because it's got the traction tyres on and it's combined and it's an heavy engine, it really does well with pulling heavy trains, it really does. So, really, it breaks my heart, it really does to have this engine in this position. Breaks my heart. Is it a bad looking loco? I know some of you probably ain't gonna like the look of it. But um, I don't think it's a bad looking loco. And um, it's literally because it doesn't run smooth. I mean, you know, if, if I get the cleaner out and I clean the track so I can see me facing the rails and um, I clean the wheels the same, I, I, it runs perfect, nice and slow really smooth but if it's got such as two hours worth of um, dust on the track which is nothing it doesn't run it just keeps playing up playing up playing up I mean I'm gonna give you another quick demonstration now it's not doing too bad there see that it stopped again and I haven't turned the, um, the, 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 the um, transformer off. I'm going to show you. There you are. That's the one she's on. And um, I pretend like the, the transformer's turned off because it isn't. It's just the locomotive wants to be a pain in the ears. That's all it is. See, it's the right move even now. And it annoys me because if I've got a nice rack of um, Texaco tankers behind it or something and this keeps stopping and starting, um, it does my head in, it really does. Um, on our video before we started the top 40, if you remember seeing this going round, it, you, you, you heard the noise it was making, it was um, stopping and starting like mad on that video, that's why I didn't do this one for very long. But look, it, it just doesn't want to know. And the transformer's on it. I'm not going to move my hand out of shop because you're going to call me a liar. They are, look. 
the transformers on. But it just wants to not go. I know, it stopped again. You know, if you want a reliable engine, um, say you've got friend rounds or something, you don't want to have to pull this this one out. I'm not going to use the Lamma John thinky. Um, because we could have children watching at any point and we don't want any of that lot going on. But um, we don't like swearing anyway, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, there's a time and a place for everything. But it, it, you don't want to pull this out, you know, on, um, say, a club railway, you know, where they're all running perfect, or you've got friends round. Um, you know, say your friends have popped round to have a look at it and um, you pull this out on a rack of tankers or something and it's stopping and starting all the time, it'll show you it up. So, even when I'm just messing about myself, I don't pull this loco out very often. The only time really I would pull this out is if I could stick a double header up her ass and push it along when it stops, that's the only time. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Do like, share and subscribe. And um, it's getting rather interesting. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.